Alright guys, welcome back. Death Spider here again. We're going to go on to episode 6 today. I am currently located, and we're going to jump right into this. So I'm currently located right here on the swamp. Now like I said, today is going to be mostly a crafting day, but hey, you can't craft without the improved backpack. So, step one, we're going to get this backpack going. Again, the crocodiles are here. My favorite time to fish for them, hunt for them, kill them. It is during the winter time, and I like to use my bow and arrow, and I like to bring my crate because their skins weigh a lot. So normally, you know, when it's not winter, it's obviously not frozen out here. But, uh, yeah, the frozen queen came by and said, hey, it's winter time, guys. So we are out here checking it out. You cannot put your crate on the ice, though. The crate has to go on the island. So drop that there. And you see the good old crocodile. He's just chillaxing. I'm going to go ahead and shoot him in the face two or three times until he dies. There we go. Four times is a charm, I guess. Oop. What is that? Is there one of the ice or something? That was weird. Oh, now I see another one. Maybe it was just stuck. They will respawn quickly here. I've been here hunting them once already. Oh. Oh, oh he hit me. Oh, God. Okay, those sounds are freaking me out. And I'm freezing to death. That's... Why am I freezing to death? That's not good, guys. Oh, is that flash freezing? Okay, we're gonna run over here and hopefully not die. Cause I don't think I have any food on me. We're gonna abandon the crate for a second and come over here and get warmed up. Oh, cucumbers. Perfectly what we needed. If we could hold it. I guess it did have food on me. Bunch of meat. Need some proteins. Yeah, we'll take some proteins. A little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hey, hey, there you go, pick it up. Why am I freezing though? I, I thought I had, did, did I take my clothes off again? Are we running around with no clothes on? Oh, uh, I guess maybe it's time for pants. Maybe we need some pants. I mean, I've got pants made on the other side of the base, but we're overheating, so I didn't put them on here. So let's put on the, close up the emergency base. Built that here all nice and remote. No fire in here, unfortunately. And we will see about clothes. Where's my winter pants? Snow pants. 20 and 12. But it's a good thing I have a stash of supplies over here. This could have gone quite badly. 20 and 12. Because you don't want to take freezing damage. I mean, they won't kill you, you know, immediately, but uh, they can get kind of bad pretty fairly quickly. Are we still freezing? Yeah, it's 10.8. I think we're still freezing, guys. It's weird. I'm not used to freezing with uh, pants and a jacket on. Oh, no, there it goes. And we're going to pop a save now that we're safe. Now that, guys, is how you. Do an emergency, uh, don't die in winter time. You're either gonna have to run around and just grab stuff to stay healed, or you're gonna have to have a base nearby. Hopefully, I didn't forget my arrows. I did not. So, yeah, this is gonna be crafting day plus survival 101 because we almost died. So, we'll come back to our crate. These guys do respawn fairly quickly. Hey, you see that one over there? And um, there's, there's like two in front of us. Crack you, mate. Do this. Yeah, I can't do accents. Sorry. Hey, hey. What, what do I keep getting? Something keeps like getting stuck behind me. I don't know what's going on with that when I back up. But all of a sudden, it just stops letting me walk backwards. I'm not very fond of that. That's how you die. Y'all respawning already? Scary noises. Hey, crocodile man, I need you to. Oh, I can't see in the light. Come over here. And it sounds like there's another one nearby. I always want to go for those headshots. 
See, see, I was trying to run backwards again, and it stopped me. That is the weirdest thing. So we're going to need eight of these. You don't need any more, so don't worry about getting more. You're not going to make an alligator leather chair anytime soon. As nice as that might be. Peter would hunt your or haunt your soul for that. Video game or not, it is cruelty to animals. Well, you got to see the way I killed it. So I was trying to experiment with the running backwards to see if it's something to do with the bow. I think it's something to do with the elevation on the islands. All right, we need what three more? Ugh. It's better than the way we used to do this. Used to you can only kill five a day. Yeah, like stuttered there for a second. So there's something to do with drawing while sprinting. Alright, who's next? Anybody? Anyone? Ooh. I will take that food because we're hurting. Do you want to be my friend? No? Do you want to build a snowman? No, I don't want to do that either. Oh, they would they would just froze again. I know it was not the tree guys, I promise. So when running from alligators backwards, beware that you might get stuck and then start running again. Man, I, like, I can hear them. It sounds almost like they're under the eyes. I'm gonna kill you before I have to run. How about that? Man, this is bad. Now we're overweight. Yeah. Let's see if we can eat some food or something. Because I hear crocodiles everywhere. It's all that meat. They give us so much meat. Alright. Well, and if y'all didn't notice since my last video, I am now up to 200 stamina. Makes life a lot easier. You can run for the eight deer. But we can run for days now. And at days, but we can run a lot farther. In case you're a little jealous. Still running with a 130 stamina. Hmm. We can actually outrun them. We don't have to worry about it. So now we just hit 100. So everybody else is walking right now while we're still running. Except I'm not sure if I'm going in the right direction. I am going in the perfect direction. So we're headed back to the main base now that we have these. Um, I might cut this out real quick just until we get back because it is even with 200 stamina it's still a little bit of a run so I'll see y'all in just a second when we get back to the base like I said our next goal advanced workbench loom and we will build the upgraded backpack so I'll see y'all in a second alright guys and we've made it back to the base so we're on the other side of the map back where the, my current main base is like I said we're going to rebuild one down here uh yeah I think Oh yeah, I need to actually move where I started one up here. I need to move down here. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe make this whole spot my my little island. But uh, glad to check that before I get too far into that. So as you can see, we've been busy. Um, we're on the second winter now. We've got an indoor garden that that I don't use. We've got three smelters here. Um, I've relocated all the smelters. I used to have one at like each point, but that that's retarded. Because the only places I need ore from is here at this one and here at this one. Because this is aluminum, this is aluminum. This is cobalt, this is cobalt, and this is copper. So I've got three here, four on these cobalt, and four on this aluminum. That way, I mean, these are short. I can make these in one run, especially now that I have two st 200 stamina. So there's no more having to run around the mountain or run way over here. Um, and as you can see, it's paid off pretty well having that many extractors. I mean, I've got shells full of copper cobalt these are double-sided obviously aluminum all shiny looking and then a whole back row of iron iron obviously is like the bigger pain to get i've got some stuff ready to smelt uh we got some clay we got tons of copper ore saved up or not copper ore but actual ingots we've got ore over here stashed and ready to go 
Just waiting on crafting day, which is finally here. We built this little water bucket, you know, just because we can. Um, besides that, I really haven't done anything else, guys. Um, there is a quick note to make for anybody who watches me regularly. The log cart trick does not work anymore. He upgraded, I think my log cart's over here. He upgraded the zombie's step, like, so they can step higher. So standing on top of the log cart is ineffective now. They will just jump on top of it or your head and kill you. That being said, foundations also no longer work. I haven't tried them at a higher level, but if you place your foundation at a standard level, the zombies can now get into it. So you, I might try going to like the maximum height level. I just feel like that comes with issues because of snapping in maybe an, an uneven territory. Because surely a zombie will not be able to jump up there. So my next base might be quite high. We shall see. Like I said, this one's just temporary. I'll probably maybe use this one power and stuff. And I might, I mean, I might do some more stuff to it. But this is just my, you know, day one survival base. This looked the same way for pretty much since day one. But anyways, that's not what this is about. Today is going to be about. I mean, I just wanted to make sure we did cover that though, because they will. This will no longer stop them. Like this is not enough to stop the zombies. Um, and those basic sizes aren't. They can pretty much get to you, like, as long as you're inside. They'll, they will, you know, beat your walls down to get to you. The foundations are not a safety net. Unless you increase their height, I'm, sur I'm sure. Anyways, so back to what we're doing. So we're going to craft today, or do a maybe not do a lot of crafting. We're going to build some stuff. Now that we have all the blueprints. See? Check mark, check mark, check mark. Tons of check marks. Alright, so what do we want to build first? Um, one of the biggest things I've been wanting is this large backpack. Obviously, you can't have a crafting day without a large backpack. So to need to do that, you need eight croc skin, two ropes. But it has to be made, and you can read in the description, crafted on the loom. So we need the loom first. This is the loom here, guys. Hopefully, I have some planks left. We're just gonna throw this stuff down for now. I'll do a little rearranging later. So we need 20 plant fibers, two iron ingots. We'll get the iron ingots. Guess I could lay other stuff down too, so we don't have to run around 15 times. So let's go ahead and do that then. So placeables. We need that. We need the advanced workbench. There we go. Advanced workbench. I don't remember the right. We're gonna call this the forward direction. And then we need the chemistry station. Alright, so for that we need two iron, four iron, two copper, two copper, four iron. In case y'all want to see how resource intensive this can get. But once you build these, you can just move them around when you need them elsewhere. Two, do we have glass left? I don't remember. Yep, there we go. I think it was two for the chemistry table. So then planks, 20 planks. 20 planks and two logs. All right. Do we have any logs left over here, Chief? No, we do not. Let's go grab the cart. And drop it like it's hot and get our two logs. They can't jump for that one. Yep, now we're overburdened. Do we have that uh, extra food on us? Yeah. Yes, we do. I'll just drop the meat and get some more later. I said we would drop the meat. What are you doing, screen? We need 20 plant fibers to finish the loom. Here's our chemistry station. Let me turn, turn your flashlight on by pressing L. And you don't have to have an actual helmet. You can just have any headpiece and then just press L and it'll turn your light on. So that, that is our advanced workbench. And then we're on the chemistry station now. And here is our chemistry station. And pretty much you're gonna use the chemistry station to make light plastic. Um, 
Finesse workstation, you'll make your mechanical and electrical parts on here mostly. There are a few other things like bone shards. And then on the loom, you're only going to use it like very, very seldomly after you make the first couple items on it. All right, we'll grab some plant fiber, put it on the loom. Okay, there we go. So there we have it. Advanced workbench, chemistry station, and the loom. Now there are more things under placeables that we have not built yet. The um, circular saw, but I'm not going to build it right now because we don't need it. Because uh, we already have plenty of planks outside working. And that uses gas, and we, I just don't feel like making oil and gas and everything. Or not gas, but oil. So now we're going to make this large backpack. We need the eight croc skins and two ropes. So we're going to grab our croc chest, set it here. We should should have some rope out here somewhere. But maybe, maybe not. Maybe I used it all. Alright, that's fine. If you don't have any rope, just grab uh, 50 fibers, and we'll bolt craft it. So go to your regular workbench, put 50 fibers, hit craft, bam, 25 ropes. Problem solved, guys. Problem solved. So on this, we will add all the skin needs to be on you. And then we will put it on the loom. It's like probably gonna be like just enough space. So two ropes, all the croc skin. And we'll get the large backpack. Press I. And now our backpack is this big. We went from 50 to 75 pounds. We can hold more items. Um, this one unfortunately stays the same. <laughs> uh, you still have the same amount of weapon slots. The only thing that changes is how much weight you can carry and the space there. So you know how those planks were taking up so much space? Yeah. Now you're just going to be overweight from as much as being able to carry too much. All right, now that we have another empty chest, we'll just put him back out on the porch. We don't need him. Got here. Scary animals. Okay, so we've got those built. What else do we need? Um, hmm. Bone shards is definitely something important. So we'll do that real quick. So we're going to need five of everything for that. And then we need to actually make the bone shards. So the bone shards are made on the advanced workbench. You get three shards per bone. They stack up to 50 if I recall, recall correctly. Let me see, I know I've got some mixed up around here. I've already got two shards in here. I guess since we're crafting that, we've got to grab these 50 arrows. And these five sticks that are just... Ooh, look at all the space we have now to hold stuff. That's just nice. Okay, and then let's go to. So, this is the advanced workbench. We'll go here, we'll drop. Up. You can only do one at a time, I don't know what I was thinking. So, we'll craft that for three shards each. You can just watch the stack in, the, in our bag. It just, it's just going to go up the whole time. And we're doing an Alt right click right now to move the bone over. And from this, you're just going to want to start making nothing but bone spears and arrows from now on. Now you don't, like, don't make them all right now. Just make what you need. But uh, don't use don't use stone anymore. It's time, to, it's time to upgrade, guys. We're not in the stone age. You know, we're in the bone age now, so. Maybe we'll get the iron age soon. That'd be cool. But as you see, uh, if you've been saving your bones, like we said in video one, you should be in great shape right now to make... I don't know, but probably enough arrows to last the rest of the time you're playing on this save. As long as you don't forget to pick them back up. Because your bone arrows will not break. Your spear will last longer and do more damage. Alright, so that's that on that workbench. We will come into here. I feel like I'm forgetting something. We probably need more sticks, but we'll just do one craft. So on the regular workbench, five sticks. Um, I was trying to say five feathers. It's going to be a shift left click. Another shift left click with our rope. If it'll cooperate. And then do a shift left click and add five bone shards. 
and we will craft five bone arrows. Now I already have some on me, but uh, I'm not going to worry about crafting anymore because now I'm at 20. Which should be plenty. I'm ready to hand. Oh, oh. Y'all getting faster too? But see, you're gonna want to keep like me. I like to keep uh, an axe, a spear, and two bows on me. That way they can't mess with me. Or they get wrecked. Definitely need to get some fences and stuff up now that they've gotten into where we can't hide anymore. And in case anybody's admiring my current setup on my shelves here. Somebody was in a stream the other day and they told me about this. So if you look over here, you'll see we're using the nice, neat shelving storage rack. So if you take it, you can move. Well, I think it grabbed the chest instead. Let me try again. Okay, grab the chest rack and you can actually move it. I'm just going to set it right here for now. If it'll resync. There we go. And you're chest will stay in place so that's how these are stacked up now I don't know if you can actually put it back into place I, I'd almost willing, be willing to bet no you'd have to move the chest first which you can move the chest it's like regular chest you just have to press in but yeah I, I don't even want to know how much time it might take to even try to wiggle that back in there but it looks like it's it's already closed the top layer of chest in too high so yeah it's not going to go back in there but it's a good way to stack your chest and not have to rebuild these shelves over and over again which I don't know if he intended for that to work that way or not but this would be a, this is going to be a cool way I think I'm going to experiment with that and uh, I'm going to use I might use it to build like a little staircase <laughs> like you know just offset the chest and kind of just build your little, little staircase and save that See if I can't get a little higher with it later on. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted here. Sorry. Uh, all right, so we went over crafting arrows. We've bolt crafted rope. We built all the placeables that we need, right? So what does that leave us with, guys? We don't have much left, but uh, the one thing that everybody really cares about is power. But before power, I think we're going to go into... Let me think. Uh, we don't we don't really care about building a basic table, do we? I mean, we we can set it out. Why not? Put it over here in the little bedroom area, maybe if it'll fit. A table. Quit being difficult. Why is it not letting me put you down? You're a very awkward table to get in place. You know that you're not even touching anything. Whatever. Put you under the window then. I need six planks and two pieces of wood for that. Which we don't have. Oh no. Where's my handy dandy axe? I'm about to knock this out. Yeah, the game was like, wait for it. Wait for it. We'll give you some sound in just a second. And I can't forget I can't jump. Right, so I think I'm going to do three, four, five, six, I think was the right number. Six is the right number. Anybody know? Sounds right. Bam, there is our little table. Yeah, looking good. So you're going to throw this over here because we don't need it. And we're thirsty again. Always thirsty. I'll drink some water. And let's go ahead and, and we'll set up like a, the kitchen stuff. So placeables. We'll just work our way down. Well, if we did that, we'd go into straight into power. Let's go from others then. So we had the... Do -do 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 -do. We have ceiling lamps, which we don't need to really worry about those until we get power, but I can show you how to build those. So we'll put one ceiling lamp, go ahead and get it prepped up. I like to put it about center of the roof. I think that's going to be about right there. Nope, nope, Josh, that is not that is not center of anything in your life. You have lost your mind. All right, guys, so we didn't quite land center on that one. We will try again. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four boards, one, two, three, four boards. We're getting attacked right as I'm getting something done. That is center. So we'll look at this one, we'll hit delete, confirm. 
Oh, hey, I was. I am talking here. You lost aggro. Oh no, I lost the arrow. No. Why did you fall in there? Oh, there it is. Sweet. All right, so you see, we get that. Yeah, we got yeah, it's, it's. I mean, according to the planks on the ceiling, it's centered. According to the doorway, not so much. Oh well, not everything's perfect. I'll live with it. All right, so you can see by looking at it, the materials it needs: one copper ingot, three iron ingots, one piece of glass, two electrical parts. So we can actually go ahead and build that. I do believe. If I can recall what the recipe was, I think we can carry all of this now. So these are mechanical parts, these are electrical parts. We found these in the villages because we're just lucky like that. We'll grab a little iron. I don't quite remember how much he said we needed. Get copper out of the chest first. All right, so we're gonna look at this. Jump up here, look at the light, and you can move these lights around once you build them out. Just like you would move anything else, you just press N and E, and that will allow you to move it around, much as you wish. Um, to turn it on and off, you press E. Um, obviously, we don't have any power right now, so we can't turn it on or off. But when we get power, by God, it will look great in there. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do power in here just yet. I think I'm going to hang it off these little low rafter looking things. But uh, I might put it up high. I don't know. We shall see. Now then, so the next item on our little list will be the oil lamp. In case anybody's interested in these. We can't put it on the table, at least not the other one. We can set it in the window, but we cannot place it on the table. We can't, we can put it through the floor. We can float it on the floor from across the room says we can adjust height with mouse wheel but that is not doing any it's not doing anything mouse wheel doesn't really seem to do anything with it, it rotates it in a circle alright so you think you could put it on table would be nice right what we will do is we'll put it oh well, I thought I was going to put it on top of that wall Oop, was that the spot no okay so I can't do it on top of the wall from where I was standing come on Come on, don't be, don't be doing me like this. I have this little night light right here. Um, it's uh, no, we, I'm not, I can't, I can't deal with that. It's uh, you know, it's floating. I wonder if we can put it on the shelves. I think I tested this before and it said no. Hmm. This is why nobody uses the lamps. It's because the lamps don't. They provide really, really crappy light and they don't work. I mean, where am I going to put this? I guess I can put it on top of the heater. Because I can't, like, back up or anything. If I hold X and mouse pull around, nothing. It has to be, like, pressed against a wall. Or it just keeps bouncing around. Alright, so you'll slide through the shelf. Can you just kind of pretend that you're on top of the shelf? How about we try to pretend that... Actually, that's gonna have fire. Let's put it, put it on the center right here, and we're gonna spin it so we can admire it in all of its glory. All right, there we go, guys. Okay, so this thing needs two copper and one iron and one fish oil. In case anybody was wondering about the fish oil, which of course I don't think I brought any. I don't think I actually brought fish oil with me. I think I dropped all mine, and I don't have any fish. Ooh, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Such a rude, such a rude guest. But that's where you would use your fish oil. I uh, kind of feel crappy that I don't have any to show y'all because I threw it all on the ground. I was like, yeah, if I need fish oil, I'll just go fishing. Well, hey. It is currently January, so we we do have the flash freeze coming soon. I should probably get stuff ready for that. But in you know, the worst case, I'll just light all the forges and we'll be fine. 
All right, so next item, because that should be like one of the only things where is that? Um, that we need fish oil for. And that will get you all some fish oil here. Probably by the time we get done building everything out. Uh, what else did we need? Because I do believe that nothing else, maybe the med kit takes fish oil. Where are you med kit? But you just take a raw fish and you set it on the workbench and that's how you make the fish oil. Um, I should have said that sooner. Pots and pans will go over in a second. I was looking for something. What was I looking for, guys? Oh, there it is. Flash freeze. So we'll shut this door here. We'll turn this little bad boy on. And uh, nine times out of ten, that should be enough. If not, I will have to put a door back up on that front side. Since the zombies won't stop knocking my doors down. Need eight planks. Okay, okay, I'm coming. I know. Oh yeah, that was enough. We're not freezing anymore, so we will rush back inside. Oh yeah, I forgot about this window. So, on a quick note, guys, uh, if a wall gets smashed out, the window's still gonna be there. It would not let me put the wall back up. So I had to like knock the window down, then put the wall back up, and then rebuild the window, which is why the window's not done yet. Like I said, this little heater, I mean, this guy's a beast. He's got one piece of coal that'll knock out all winter. Uh, open doors and windows, he don't care. And that might just be because this is an interior wall, but uh, maybe this counts as a door. But this little heater, he just gets, he gets the whole job done. All right, guys, so let's go into the next item since I can't finish the light for you until winter passes. I know, we're coming to power. We're going we're gonna to get to power in just a minute. Uh, so we've already built him. He was just 10 ironing guts. The mixer is going to let you make concrete. I'm not going to... I mean, I can build one of those if y'all just want to see it. I'll just move it across the map later or something. And we're going to put him out. We'll just set him here until it's time to go outside again. These are going to use power. I think they can use oil. Don't make me lie to you. But they're 20 ingots a piece. They're really expensive. Like 20 iron ingots. Plus all the electrical and mechanical parts. Very, very, very high cost. Now that's 15. We'll grab 5 more so it's 5 per shelf. Alright, so this is what it looks like. It says bright red. Press E on it, and you go in there, you put 10 sand here, 10 clay here. You can't mix or match, it has to go where it says. You hit mix, it yeah, so it uses just power. It takes like five minutes, I think, like everything else, and then you'll get concrete. Uh, I can't remember how much exactly. It's been a long time since I made concrete. Probably 10 concrete, I would assume. Oh, see, yeah, because we're inside with the heater, we're in a heat zone, and we have our clothes on. We are now overheating. Isn't that exciting? We are just freezing to death. And uh, now we're overheating. We'll take our pants off. And overheating will kill you. Just like uh, being too cold, overheating will siphon your hit points off. So we just got our pants on. Right, what do we have next after that is going to be... you have already seen the mineral extractor. So we have the oil extractor. The oil extractor will allow you to, as it says, get use power to get oil. And um, yeah, it just it's just like the mineral extractor, except it gives you oil instead of rocks. So we, and it has to be placed on the ground outside. Um, obviously, I can't open doors with that. Don't know what I was thinking. So we're gonna go. This is gonna end up becoming the permanent base at this rate. <laughs> I'm just gonna set this bed. Well, I like to set it close to the porch. I mean, I know a lot of people build their bases where you can just walk into the center and do what you want to do. I like to just like have like a porch. I don't want stuff in the middle of my base. I'll build like a courtyard or something for that. We're gonna go grab this melon really quick because it is winter time. Wasn't okay I was about to say did I just get a melon please? Y'all can see we're producing a bunch of food. We got our stuff back up. Um 
taking damage just because I'm being a fool. Alright, so. And so, if y'all are wondering, that's why this crate's like it is. So, sand and clay makes bricks, or it'll make wet bricks on the workbench, or it'll make. And then you put it in the dry rack to get dry bricks, or you use 10 and 10 and some power, and it'll give you the concrete. Alright. As you can see, everything's leading up to, like, that's why I say, um, there's no point really getting your blueprints and everything until after you have established a small base, at least, so you have ore and everything, but uh, just so you can craft. And that seems to be most of the placeables. I mean, obviously, you still have the wooden gate here. I'm not really worried about the wooden gate, um, and in the long run, we're probably going to build, ooh, probably going to build a lot of these, and they're expensive. They're 8 cobalt for the oil extractor. So 8 cobalt, 4 iron, 15 aluminum, 6 mechanical parts. That is expensive, guys. So. Guess we'll grab what we can and go out there and feed this bad boy up. And then we need 8 cobalt, which is the blue. Eh, we'll take it from the same side, why not? They changed the recipes on us, so we normally I would know what we were putting in there. So as you see again, you just hit the power on-off button, and it'll it'll make oil, and it'll stack it here to a maximum of 100. 100 is the, unless he's changed it, 100 is the highest stack that oil will go. Alright, so that is all of our placeable items. Or, not placeable, that's all of our other placeable items. So for food, what we need here is we've already got plant bed, we've got campfire prep table. Only thing left is the metal stove and the refrigerator. So we're gonna put the metal stove in here. You know, where's a good kitchen? I think this wall will be a, this will be a good kitchen spot, right, guys? Yeah. So it needs to be close enough to an exterior wall. Like you can extend it out and stuff, but it needs to be by an exterior wall. Or it did. Maybe it's changed. It used to have to be fairly close. So we'll do that, and for that we're going to need 8 firewood, 25 iron ingots. And trust me when I say that the stove is worth it, because that's how we're going to get our health up to 200. We'll use the stove to make meat stew. So I don't use the pot on the stove, I just use, you just need pans. I really haven't found a use for the pot. I mean, I think you can make baked potatoes and stuff in it, but they don't, they aren't worth it, or they didn't used to be, unless he's changed a lot more than I saw. But you also, this is also why you want to get the, the loom, so you can get the bag. It makes crafting all this stuff so much easier. So as you see here, you put fuel at the bottom, and then you have four burners to put your pans on, which we can go ahead and take care of that. We'll grab this last ingot. I believe they're crafted here. Don't quote me. No. It's a good thing y'all didn't quote me because they are not crafted there. So one iron ingot is two mechanical parts. They get, they have to be crafted there unless I'm doing something wrong. All right. So we'll go look at the recipe because obviously I'm doing something wrong. Food and drinks. Nope, but we will be back there in just a second. So here we've got the pot. And we've got the pan. Pot pan. So one is two iron, one is three. And it is crafted on the regular workbench. I knew I, I, knew I had something right. So there's a pan. I'll make one pot for you guys just so you can see it, even though I don't want to waste iron ingots. But that'll be nice just, just for you, just this one time. And then we're going to make three more because I don't like cooking just a little bit of meat stew. I like to cook all the meat stew. So we're going to cook more pans. Alt right click to move it over. Alt right click. So once you get that made, we can actually go ahead and grab. I think I've got some right here. Right here? No? Right here? Nope. Right there. No. Here? No. There. I knew I had some charcoal over here, guys. Don't. <laughs> I knew it was in one of those places. So we'll go to our items. Take your coal. Bam, fire for days. 
I don't remember building four of those. I've wasted some iron. Oh well. We can use it later. And you'll just place them on these cooking spots on the stove. You'll use your lighter, set the stove on fire, place your food, water, whatever you want in there, and cook away. So I'm going to swap this around though. And this is where I'm going to make meat stew. That'll be four max, four more hit points per stew per cooking session right there. And we will store this pot back into here. And this, and this, and that. And okay, cool. Yeah, so now let's grab, is it one or two? So one of the next things you're gonna wanna make, just to make life better, but you're all tired of this flask, and it's 60 water. What we're gonna do is rectify that. We'll come to Itempedia, we're gonna go over to food and drinks, and look down here, this is the large flask. It takes three aluminum ingots, and it's crafted on the workbench. So we'll go ahead and one, two, three, throw those on there. Bam, large flask. It holds 200 clean water. Like I said, life gets easy, guys. Life will get easier. So let's throw together some biofuel, just while we have all this rot on us, which is three spoiled food on the workbench. And we're going to stash that away for now. You can stash away these ingots. Or not the ingots, but the ore. And, um... Do I have bark chips just sitting around in here? No. Well, I do now. So that's the flask, that's the pots, that's the pans, that's the stove. What else would y'all... Oh, the refrigerator. Mmm. Expensive. And not a lot of fun to make, by the way. Alright, so, refrigerator. We will cram you into the corner over by the stove, I suppose. If you will turn green. So we'll go ahead and add what's on us. See what the damage is. We need 20 more iron ingots and 2 more copper. And from here it's going to get a little bit more time consuming. So now we need electrical parts. We need four more electrical parts. So if you forget recipes like I do and the kids stuff changed, come to your book, Itempedia. I believe it's going to be resources. No. Okay, then others, maybe? Yeah, okay. So under others, electrical parts, it's going to be one copper, one plastic, and one cobalt. So they did change the recipe on it. One copper ingot, one cobalt ingot, and one piece of plastic to make electrical parts super expensive oh wait was that and that was made on the advanced workbench right yeah so we, we've got a little bit of plastic this is why if you're watching my videos of me raiding the villages I'm like save the plastic save the electrical parts save the mechanical parts because they get expensive I think that was enough So we're just doing, going to alt right click one of each, alt, one copper, one plastic, one cobalt, advanced workbench, and hit craft. And there's our fridge, guys. So as you can see, it can hold uh, like tw yeah, 20 items in it, but it, it's only like 20 small items. So that's why I said you might want to put your fruit salad and stuff in there. You can use your on off button here to turn it on or off, obviously to conserve power. And that is your refrigerator guys. So um, continuing on, we're getting to the juicy stuff in a moment, I promise it's coming. That is all our food. So next we need to go and kill the neighbor who's being so rude, which I ran right at for some reason. Like I always say, turn them into a unicorn and they're no big deal. Cheapo's always giving potato seeds. Oops, wrong, my wrong crate. Okay, so I was going to build a big thing out. I might go ahead and do that in just a second and just pause the video recording. Uh, it's just going to take a while because I, I got some planks. 
Hmm, how do we want to do this? <laughs> well, I don't plan to live here, so I can just move the stuff later. So we'll just build it on the porch. Why not, right? That's what we have a porch for. And I'm going to the wrong place. So we yeah we did all the food okay we're still on power so the first thing for power you're gonna want to build I don't care if you say it's expensive we're not going to build the control panel we're gonna slap it right well you can let me put you at weir weird angles and you can float in the air so we're gonna put the control panel floating in the air ghost style into our doorway or shall we put them under the porch no put them on the pole but no we're gonna I'm going to try to get it positioned on the wall. You can move this around a little bit. It it will not it does not like it all the time. Man, this thing's gonna be difficult to position. Alright, I think we're gonna go with that. That is not the right direction unless he's changed the graphics. Oh no, it needs to be built out, my bad. So four iron, two copper, two cobalt. So one, two, two. One, two, three, four. So, like iron, like the rarest resource in the game now. All right, here's our power box, guys. Like I said, you can still move around. Um, here, it's gonna tell you how much battery you have, like how much you can store, uh, how much power is currently stored, how much you're able to store completely. You've got how much power is coming in, which would be your turbines and your solar panels, how much they're pulling in based on weather. Uh, if you've got power out, that's going to be refrigerator, lights, etc., mixers. And power available is the left or power you have that will then be fed to your batteries and stuff. Right here, as you can see, it's already tracking what we have. Even though it's not turned on, it tells you what the cost would be on power out. You know, mixers 40, ceiling lamps 10, oil extractors 100, and fridge is 75. So your power costs will add up over time. Because you know for a fact, you know, I'm probably going to want to add at least three more lights into here probably a light or two out here on the porch so you know that, that right there is like 100 power the only thing you don't see on there is you know you don't see these guys because you still have to make oil for them so you know you saw how expensive the oil extractor was to build and it's only going to give you one oil, one oil like every so often I forget we'll see, we'll see in a second once we get some power turned on alright so our next item for power is going to be the we're going to do the wind turbine first in case we run out of resources because it, it is a constant. Look at this little pinwheel thing. We're just going to put him right here. Look at this little guy. I've never actually built one of these. This would be my first one. So we need four copper, four cobalt, four iron to start us off. Do the fours. Man, these things are a little, a little labor intensive on my iron. Every time you think you've crafted a lot, you know, they're just like, hey, man, let me get all them resources, bro. And then we need 10 aluminum. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And there she is, guys, the wind turbine. I don't know if it's actually doing anything or not. But it is kind of spinning, right? So does that count for power? Let's check out handy dandy control box. Power in is 20. Power available, 20. So if you look at the book for the wind turbine, it does produce 20 power. So that means it is working. It is really, really expensive. But it works 24-7 regardless of weather conditions. It is a non-stop 20 power. Whereas this bad boy is 40 at peak output, but you'll see the power go up and down. Like it might be good to spike charge your batteries with, but besides that, um, solar panels, a lot of people, um, to include me, are gonna say that they're probably about obsolete at this point. But I will go ahead and build one just for you guys. There's gonna be five iron, four copper, four cobalt, and five aluminum. So they did change up the recipes though, because I'm pretty sure these used to take, I'd have to, I'd have to look at my old videos, I'm pretty sure they were really heavy into mechanical and electrical parts. So right now it's looking like the only thing that hurts is going to be refrigerators and 
that ore extractor. I don't remember what I was supposed to be getting. Get the beep got me. All right, so we're good on iron. We just need five aluminum. I think the aluminum ingots are my favorite. Those in the cobalt because they look the best. All right, guys. So this is our solar power. So it is currently 3:57 a.m. Our power in is 20. We have somehow stored four power and have a power capacity of four. I'm not sure how we did that since we don't have any batteries yet. But yeah, you know. But you see there's no extra power coming in. It's just the 20 off the windmill. So, and that might be because this thing's undercover. This, I don't know if that's been updated. I don't, I didn't read that anywhere. But we will set him right here somewhere. Or does he, oh, he might have to be attached to something. Okay, well then. We will put you at the edge of the forts then and hope for the best. I know I saw you. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Can't even stand up. You can't even stand up off the ground. But you want to come knocking at my door. Alright, what do we need? We need we need to sleep a little bit, guys. We're out of energy. We've been crafting too much. Our guy's uh, said the best. He's had a good life. Alright, and let's grab some food. Hopefully I've got some water ready. Got 45 water. Go ahead and eat up on our proteins. Get our fats right. Um, fruits and veggies. Fruits and veggies. I'm not seeing any. That's not great. So we're gonna drink our little bit of water really quick. And this would be a great time to have power running, a refrigerator that is well stocked on fruit salad because then you would not need, and you can put fruit in there too if you really want to. Then you don't have to worry about anything. So this is winter time and it's a good learning point. So press I, go to your little bowl, grab your canteen which holds up to 200 dirty water. Flip to your little bucket that holds 200 dirty water and drop it in and that is using snow to make water. And we'll go back over here, grab our lighter, set it on fire, and we will get clean water in a moment. And see that was one trip instead of like six trips back and forth to the water. We are currently freezing for some reason. I didn't think it was still that far into winter. It is January, so what can you expect? Alright, so the next item real quick while we're waiting for the water. Back to power, we've got the solar panel, and this is probably going to be the most important item, in my opinion. Well, you know what? Batteries are actually kind of obsolete, too. If your wind turbines are providing power 24-7 at the same rate, all you got to do is build a whole wind, wind uh, like find you somewhere on the map, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to build me a super big, really impressive wind turbine farm. Because for the people who don't know about power, there is no distance on the map. This power right here will work if I, like from this base here, it'll work if I built a base down here on the very tip tip. Ooh, is that an island? I gotta go check that out. Ooh, there's an island here too. Sorry, getting lost guys. I hadn't, I guess I hadn't paid enough attention. Um, but yeah, so anything you build here will work across on the opposite side of the map. Okay, so for the battery we need five iron ingots, four aluminum ingots, four copper ingots, and five electrical parts. So those electrical parts will get you. Let me see, I've already forgotten what I said. Pretty much need four of everything but cobalt. Maybe that was four, I might have misclicked. Like that. I got cobalt instead of iron, didn't I? I'm special. And then we need the five electrical parts. And the batteries are some of the best looking things in here. Let's see, do I have cobalt? Yes. Five cobalt. And see, whenever you go to craft or do anything in this game, you will be attacked. Let's see, here it comes charging through the house. Like he owns a place or something. 
I'm not gonna lie, I thought that log was something else coming through the door. I was like, seriously? I'm like, did we not just have this fight? At least they're bringing us ore. That's why I keep the fan beast turned on. They will bring you ore. Occasionally they'll drop you six ore at once, like full size ore. So I just leave it on. They're not that big of a deal. It just gets annoying when you're smelting and stuff. Didn't I used to have 25 bone arrows? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, so we need to make electrical parts, which means we're gonna have to make plastic. So let's see if that recipe changed at all. Plastic, you make this on the chemistry table. It's gonna be three oil cans, of course, which I don't have. Three oil cans and five part chips. So it looks like I'm not gonna be able to finish the uh, battery guys because I don't have any oil. We do have power, but that oil extractor uses 100 power. So in order to do that, we're going to have to build five more of these. I mean, it is daytime though, so we are pulling power in is 40. So solar panels, you know, it's, it's overcast. Sun's not very bright because it's, well, it is the middle of the day. Sun's not very bright. That the best uh, solar panel can do for us is what this thing's already done. So with that being said, I guess we'll, we need to just go ahead and lay five of those out. I just don't know if we have enough resources to build them all. But I guess I can try really quick just to show y'all how expensive having a decent amount of power is going to be. Because y'all see my ingot collection is pretty, pretty hefty. Alright, so there's five more that leave us a little extra so we can turn the light on. Nah, let's see, what do I have on me? I don't even know. At least it's just all ingots on these things. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. We need 50 aluminum ingots. 50. So that's going to be like three of these shelves gone. See, that's 20 right there. So I'm only grabbing, I could probably, maybe I can grab a little bit more than 20. It's just I don't want to be like crawling outside and I really don't want to rearrange my shelves because they look really good, just like they are. Let's see. 72. It's probably about as close as we're going to get. We need three more aluminum. Which I don't really sweat the aluminum. It's going to be the the iron that hurts so bad. And as you see, I've got plenty of everything but iron. Because you had to smelt all those little rocks for that. Another good thing about building close to the porch is you can reach over the porch to touch everything. But that was not my original intention, and I cannot see this color. We're good on copper. Did I over grab on copper? Yes. Let's grab on the cobalt. You just right click, it'll pull it off the shelf. I think that's more than enough. I can't see. And then we need 20 iron ingots. Exciting, right? 20 iron ingots, oh my goodness. I think, I think that's about right. Alright guys, and here's our new little temporary wind farm. Man, those things are kind of trippy looking with the angles. Um, we're now pulling in 140 power. Remember the solar panels still out there helping out. Uh, every time I start talking, somebody wants to be rude. Where, where are you at, rude sir? 
Wait, is that him in the house? No, I gotta move that log. I, I see you. Come on, I see you getting stuck and everything. But yeah, so we have six of those at 20 power each. So that's 120 constant non-stop power. So what that means is we can turn on the oil extractor and let it run 24 seven. But you get one oil every four minutes. And we need oil to make the electrical parts or we need oil to make plastic for the electrical parts to make the batteries. So you're pretty much gonna let that run for a while while you mine, craft and build. Pretty much you'll just build out a big base, make sure everything else is running while you do it. And if you come into here, you can see power in is 140, power out is 100, and we currently have 40 available power. But that will drop once your solar panel runs out of power. And like I said, if we come into here now, we can also hit the watch your eyes, and it will turn on our indoor lighting. So how is that, guys? Let me turn off the flashlight so you can check it out. Because um, the lighting in here in this game is really good. So you see, it doesn't that look nice. Mr. Logs at the table, just you know, just grabbing him something to eat. But guys, that's gonna be the end of this episode. That's just crafting everything, a little basic explanation of how everything works. Um, I know the only place where we didn't build was the other saw, but it's not gonna do us any good until we can start making oil. So we're gonna, like I said, have to make a huge wind farm somewhere. I already have a couple places in in mind. There are a couple different ways I might do it. And I can go ahead and share that in case anybody's interested. Is I was thinking maybe just building these way up high in the sky or using them to build like an old, the old airship from Super Mario and use these like the propellers on it. But we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Uh, at first, I'm just going to make it proficient to get old. So we will see what we can do with all of that. And as y'all saw, if you wanted to see real quick too, we are hurting for ingots a little bit, except cobalt. Cobalt and copper seem fine. Aluminum's not, I guess that aluminum's a bad. Iron is the only thing that took a beating. Now, I wish I could show y'all this, but I just don't have the fish oil. I thought I had some here. Sorry, I failed you. I failed you, my family. Maybe next time. But yeah, if you have any questions, comments, just put them below. Uh, be sure to help me out and hit that subscribe button so I know you're interested in the content. And uh, I will see you all later. For uh, The next couple episodes will probably just be more playthroughs and buildings. I believe the survival guide episodes are probably done with this one because I can't think of anything else I really need to show anybody. I mean, this is because this is how to build everything. This is how to keep everything going, how everything works. So, but if y'all want to see another how to video on something, like I said, just let me know. Besides that, I'll just make what I can and make a few quick ones for different uh, subjects as I go. But y'all have a great day, and I'll catch y'all later.